here's this bizarre picture. God inherits you. And you inherit God. Don't ask me to explain it. It hurts my head to think about it. But it is true. Verse 7, I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. My heart also instructs me in the night seasons. I love that, that thought. I actually, I like to go to sleep. I just like to go to sleep, but I like to go to sleep at night believing that God's going to touch me while I sleep. Now, what I don't do is wake up in the morning and try to measure it. Because some of what he deposits are like seeds that grow over time. It's best just to believe what he says. In Job 33, he says that he visits us in the night and he seals up instruction in our heart that if he were to do it during the day, we would become proud. In other words, the word he deposits in us reveals our significance to such a degree that without the right maturity, we would respond in arrogance. Look at who we are. So God puts it in seed form so that in maturity, it develops as we grow. But it's in the night. But this says, my heart instructs me in the night. Don't expect your heart to instruct you if you're not feeding it. If you're not putting this in there, don't expect it to come out when you need it. I think it was the Quakers, they developed this. I forget the phrase. It might have been this one. Uh, we're going to sleep on it. It was that theme anyway. The thought was, is that we will just trust the Lord with this problem and we'll just go to, go to bed in rest, just believing that God will instruct us in the night. And I, I, I think it's, I think it's one of the most important ways for us to learn to grow and to hear from God because we're not working. And sometimes we associate breakthrough with our works, with our efforts, with our labors. And we have to have certain parts of our life that just simply unfold without our efforts. And this is one of those moments. So he says, my heart instructs me in the night. <clears throat> my, my heart instructs me in night seasons. Verse eight, he says, I have set the Lord always before me because he is my right, at my right hand, I shall not be moved. I have set the Lord. That's, that's a, I don't know what you do with that phrase, but here's, here's what I do. This isn't the Lord. This is a bottle of water, all right? But I'm going to set the bottle of water before me. The psalmist says, I set the Lord before me. Now, can you actually grab God and put him in front of you? Or is it the determination of heart, I'm good to discover who is already there? God is not manipulated by us. Here's the way I like to put it. Since I can't imagine a place where he isn't, I might as well imagine him with me. What would it be like if when you got up tomorrow morning, you became actually aware of the manifest presence of God right in front of you? I have set, I have set my heart on, on the Lord in such a way that the presence of God, I, I live with the awareness of the manifest presence of God before me. 